One of the main places that young single adult members can find potential people to date is in the ward. However, there are rules if you're going to date in the ward that must be followed. If not, you can risk losing your chances with the rest of the guys or girls in your ward and will have to move to another ward and start again. Keep watching to learn these easy but important rules to dating in the YSA ward. The first rule for dating in the YSA ward is to date around, at least initially. If you are in Utah, your YSA ward is filled with a plethora of young single adults to date. If you're not in Utah, then this most likely isn't the case, and you might have to choose between the two brothers that have that weird family skin disease. <laughs> this is important to remember, because if you focus on just one guy or girl, you might miss out dating opportunities with other members in your ward. We tend to get tunnel vision when we start to like someone. And unless you're good at managing this attraction, you can easily start to obsess over that one person, which isn't good. So feel free to ask out multiple people in the ward. And that leads to the second rule, which is don't tell anyone about your dating life, especially if they are in the ward. Roommates might be an exception if you really trust them. There are multiple reasons why you should keep your dating on the DL. The biggest one is because YSA wards are extremely gossipy. Sometimes all it takes for a rumor to spread throughout the ward is to just be seen talking to a guy or girl in the church. There have been times when all I have done is mention a girl in our ward in a conversation and then people will comment that I was interested and that we were dating. Keeping quiet is important also because if things don't end well with that person in the ward, you don't want everyone to be hearing about your dirty laundry. A reputation will also most likely be made of you from the opposite sex. And this can ruin your chances with other people in the ward, especially if you are the one that has made out to look like you were the bad person in the breakup. The third and final rule for dating in the ward is to take it easy. Or in other words, have fun. Don't put so much pressure when asking someone out from the ward. If it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Easy as that, really. I know that especially as a young single adult, we get hung up on the idea of getting sealed in the temple for time and all eternity and having 12 children right away. But before we can get to all that, you need to get to know the other person first, see if you are compatible, and if you generally like being in each other's company. The reality is you won't get further than the first date with most of the girls and guys in your ward. But that doesn't change the fact that they are mostly all good people with testimonies of the gospel. And one day, they are going to be a husband, wife, and eventually a mother and father. It's not a failure when it doesn't work out with a specific guy or girl. Because every date and relationship you experience, you should be learning something about building relationships. But more importantly, you should be learning something about yourself. Do you have any other rules about dating within the YSA? Comment below. I hope that you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to keep watching more videos. Talk to you later.